Hey everybody, um, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Uh, if you're in, you know, the Northeast, I hope that, you know, you're staying cool. It is quite warm here in Vermont right now. Um, but I wanted to talk a little bit, I think last week or the week before, I mentioned, you know, how difficult it is to get family members to do what you know as a professional to be the best thing for them, um, especially when it comes to exercise and how it's generally better to wait for them to come to you. Um, another tactic uh, that you can take and what made me think of it is so I was listening to Mind Pump and right like very soon after, I'm kind of behind in my episodes, so I'm several episodes back, but um, from the current ones and I was, I had talked to my mom about, you know, cardio with weights and just that, you know, and that's what she's always tended to do. And she thinks that it's resistance training. And no matter how much I try to explain to her that doing cardio with weights without rest periods, like circuit training type, you know, she was a member of curves. She always did, um, jazzercise she did step classes she you know with their little weights and she did you know and she thinks that that is resistance training um and no matter how much i try to convince her that it's not um and i think is one of the main reasons why she hates exercising so much is because she thinks she has to like bust her butt and sweat and sweat all over the place in order to get a good exercise in in order to get a good workout in um because she'll say to me like how much she hates exercise. And I'm like, well, it's because you're not doing it right. Um, <laughs> not that those classes don't have a benefit for some people, but she doesn't, she doesn't need to be doing that. Um, and so I was listening to Mind Pump and they had a caller or like they were answering a question and they talked about this specific thing. And the thought crossed my mind, you know, maybe instead of listening to me she'll listen to these other people that are professionals that have a podcast that obviously know what they're doing um and maybe she'll listen to them and maybe they will be able to get through to her and so that's kind of a different tactic to take with because what often happens you know how often do you tell you know your kid something and they don't believe you and then they hear it from somebody else and they're like oh this thing is true. It's like, yeah, it's what I told you. Um, or, you know, your spouse too, like that <laughs> happens, you know, with spouses where, you know, they, they don't believe you until they hear it from somebody else. And, you know, that's just kind of a family thing. I think even if you are a professional in the field, they don't necessarily want to listen to you until they hear it from someone else that not necessarily that they trust more, but then they go, Oh, you weren't just, blowing smoke you actually were telling you know you were you, you were just telling me something that i didn't necessarily want to hear um and then after i heard it from this other person then okay fine <laughs> you know like begrudgingly i guess you were right um and so i think that you know that's another thing that you can do um with family members that maybe don't necessarily want to listen to what you you know, as their family member, um, because they don't think of you as the, you know, professional that you are. They think of you as their family member and, um, and it's kind of difficult to separate the two, I think. And if you maybe send them, you know, links to someone else explaining the same thing, maybe slightly differently, um, or, you know, just hearing it from someone else might convince them or, you know, reading it as opposed to hearing it might be a little bit more um, persuasive to them. Um, so these are different tactics, I think, that you can take with people that, you know, you want to help, but they're not necessarily receptive to what you personal, you specifically have to say. And they might be more receptive to it if they hear it from um, someone else or read it for themselves, um, or something like that along those lines. So, uh, just a little kind of tidbit of advice, I guess that, um, I'm going to try out and see if it works 
and um, you know that I've noticed works in other aspects of my life so um, yeah if you you know if this helped if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button share it subscribe and I will see uh, you all tomorrow um, for Farm Friday if I remember <laughs> I have a hard time remembering the farm Fridays for some reason. Um, probably because we're not working a ton on the farm right now. Uh, but anyway, that's it. And, uh, and I will see you all tomorrow, hopefully. Bye.